Arcom Discount Astrolabe Warehouse, your one-stop shop for Astrolabes. From Arkham to Ethereum, our Astrolabes come in all shapes and sizes, perfect for any occasion. Use them to navigate, calibrate, estimate, or melt them down and masticate. Arkham Discount Astrolabe Warehouse. Come see our amazing selection of Astrolabes. Buy four and get the next four free. Now with over 10 locations in New Archive. Arkham's Discount Astrolabe Warehouse. And remember, if the name Arkham's not on it, you better pawn it. Hey everybody, it's Saturday. I'm playing our old Char Belcher list with a lot of improvements, so much so that I'm calling it Blue Belcher. Uh, I've been having a ton of fun. There was a red edit right up on this out of the blue from one of our my victims. Um, sometimes you can represent like 14 power on turn one or two. It's incredible. A little bit uh, draw dependent, so we're always going to be going second before I keep going. Mercadian Merchant. All right, good to hear from a new face in the chat there. Thank you, Popper Tim, as always, and Show Razavon in the house. Today we got a lot of new stuff, including this uh, cool black lotus banner behind me i was at the uh, draft last night uh, finished in the money this time for uh, modern horizons 2 beating my son in the finals it was a bummer um but anyway uh the cards are all his anyway because dad shares blah 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 um but i had to get this because i'm going kind of old school and i love this ornithopter artwork but i was thinking kind of the frame's kind of a little boring without the artwork and it's just this old ball guy in here so uh, i'll have to make do with that um you saw the top of the show. I got a new fortune cookie thing. If you go to our YouTube page and go into under community, you can see I'm looking for submissions. Uh, today's is from Burton Miller uh, at the top of the show with uh, You Will Pay the One, which is relevant to a lot of cards, including things like Ristic Study and such. So uh, we also, if you saw the very top of the show, I got a package from the Netherlands. Popper Tim, thank you so much for the sub. Um, and it's from our own Nim Chimsky with... Uh, a cool little letter that came with it. If you go to the very top of the show, you see it. And more importantly, he sent me a white bordered COP white. And you know what's going to happen at the end of the show? We're going to break all physics laws and we're going to burn a protection from red white bordered card to death. So stick around for that. Uh, Nimchimsky in the house. Yes. All right, just make sure to use your points. <laughs> All right, so hey, here's the deck I've been having a hey, fun, fun, fun 18. It has been a while, my friend. Thank you for joining us again and sticking out with us. So uh, this only has six lands. Sometimes that's too many. We got four seats, two uh, Silver Bluff Ridges. The red's very rarely needed for the gut shot. Actually, it never has been. We got four Thought Casts, and there were two floating spots. Now, if you follow us on Facebook, I uh, had the original Sumber Hovergard in the spot. I mean, there's even the new whale, but this doesn't have evasion. If you're going to go ultra in with this kind of thing, I think the hover guard's the way to go. But I really like this, um, just finding that that one mana way to just really start to churn out your mer enforcers in our cool little slimy silver salamander. Try that for us. <laughs> there you go. All right, Nimchimsky, you're on. But because of the smoke damage, we're going to be doing that at the end of the, each show. So um, anyway, so yeah, we've got six of those um, preordained. We've got four shield sphere, four rockers, four ornithopters, four petals, four bone saws. I had to kind of readjust this. We've got four welding jars, which is really an MVP of the deck. These look a little overkill, but things like ancient grudge and shenanigans are our enemy. And this uh, serves a lot of double duty for a lot of hate cards out there and uh it's just it's really nice frees up four cards on our sideboard and really helps promote our list uh this comes out free this comes out free this comes out free you got to tap artifacts for it it's another reason i got rid of the ho hover guard the welding jar doesn't hit it and you can't do that with it and then we got pretty much the repeatability here i never cycle this but um i'm sure you can another list anyway because red's such a problem we've got four hydro blasts and two elemental blasts we've got one dispel on the sideboard all four echoing truth because of storm it's one of the only real reasons there and i did beat it in the popper class Classic Tuesdays and finished, I think, fourth place with this similar list, a little bit different. And we have so many zero things. We really don't want fairies getting in our way, even though we do have ornithopters and free ways to kill them. Um, 
it's still, you know, you don't want your stock getting countered. So let me catch up on the chat here. Hang in. Uh, MTM Tat. All right. And um, Tormod's Crypt Main. Yes. So, yeah, this, is, uh, this has been really fun. You always want to go second so much. So get a post-it note and write it to yourself that you want to go second. So we're going to say that we want two players here. And hopefully, I promise you we're going to get some rage quitters here because... Um, Sometimes I think people don't give it a, a fair shake. They see a bunch of weird stuff go down, and they're like, oh, I want a serious deck. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa this is very serious. This is uh, tuned to beat a lot of the uh, uber serious ones out there. So um, make no mistake, go in second. Um, we're going to get well, – we will have a hiccup turn or two, and I do believe I'm going to take this to a league this week sometime. Um, probably not a challenge, but um, really liking it. I mean – Hopefully today it'll it'll suck if it doesn't show off, but um, very often you get like two or three more enforcer size critters on like turn two or three. I mean, it's so much damage. You got like sixteen coming at them on turn two or three, and it's like, you know, even if you have a hate card, that's that's a one for one. You're still taking eight or nine, and you know, then you get the tooth of Chiscora in there and all these things. It, it goes crazy. So Shiraz on there with the deck list. Thank you for that. Hey, little fight joins us, and I got a serious beating on the head yesterday with this deck. Oh, and Chimsky, yes. Oh, uh, Mr. Fringe 89 says, uh, is Tortured Existence still a deck now, or has it truly been shattered now? Uh, it's always a contender. depends on the pilot, and it really depends on the clock. Um, I think if you go to a Paper Magic tournament and you run up against a Tortured Existence player and they can demonstrate the the loops and such, uh, very superior in personal. But online, way too many stops, and it's uh, pretty commonplace to beat them with... Um, you know, the clock and, st and such. So, um, but yeah, so we've got, uh, let me see. So yeah, Nimchimsky's cool letter. That was cool. It took about a month to get here from the Netherlands to California. I was blown away. That was pretty trippy. Okay, so they're going first, so we don't have to worry. So we've got one, two. Nah, this isn't that good of a hand. Um, I'm going to mulligan this, actually, because we've only really got two here. Sometimes you can get a little clumped up with the seven, so we'll mulligan this. And hopefully we get a little bit better. We've got one, two. I knew this was going to go down. Uh, I guess we'll... Oh, boy. don't really want to mulligan here, but we really don't have much else here. I'm going to mulligan again. Not the showing you want going out of the gates here. We'll keep this. <sighs> I hate to lose thought cast, but uh, we don't have any mana yet. I know it will refill our hands, but we'll go from here, and hopefully we'll get something online. Uh, Dreamers This is about as bad as a start as you can hope for. This happens about one in eight games. Hopefully that holds true today. We have this going down. Okay, so we'll cast this out, cast this out. We're one thing away from getting our Foundry Assembler out because we can just tap these to pay for it, but we're one away. But you can see how much we really need to be on the draw with this. Uh, the double mill is like, we're probably going to lose this game. It's uh, pretty hard to come back from, but we'll see. Hmm. It's Joel Scott. I wonder what the record will be for total power on turn two. This stream. Don't laugh too hard. It's, it'll, it will hit you. All right. Here we go. We'll do this. We'll play this dude. Now we can just turn everything into an ornithopter. And we do have uh, backup plans here. You know, one more artifact, right? We've got four. We've got seven. Uh, a little bit of mana. That's eight power. But a lot of times you win games and it's really fun with no lands. And then I like to write in the in the chat, I always say, lands are overrated. Let's keep going. But yeah, make no mistake, this double mulligan, bad. We still got protection on board. We've got graveyard removal and uh, protection in the welding jar at least. Careful too, uh, you got to tap the lotus petal to go off. So sometimes that improvise will get a little clunky when you want to have like a uh, hydroblast backup and such. So... I can get a little weird. Okay, so we'll do this to this to this to this to this. Look, Ma, no lands. Who needs them? Oh, man. Are we getting counterspelled? What's going down here? Oh, okay. Boy, that really blows. We'll save it with the welding jar. We still get our dude out, but we don't get to hit. And that really stifles our uh, explosivity. Still haven't even hit yet. Normally, this is when you're uh, swinging for about 10. As you can see, if the Merm Forcer would have hit there, that would be 10. Do -do. Unintended consequences, though. Putting this uh, banner behind me with an old-school artifact, it looks like it's uh, Black Lotus out of frame. And it's like, no, 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 I meant to go with Ornithopter with Black Lotus art. But, ah, what are you going to do? 
Woo! Come on now, what do we got here? Is this um, Esper? Okay, are we going to hit for six here or not? Let's see. If we get one land on board, we'll be able to turn some of this stuff up. All right, we're finally coming over for six. Let's see if it works. A lot of mistakes around Welding Jar. Not an artifact many people know. They just think it's fluff, and then they go and they do what this opponent did, which is throw cast down out of the gates, and boom. Okay, we're not too worried about a Mold Drifter outside of pulling up some... Uh, more removal. This is Espertron. Very interesting. And I always respect Omen of the Dead. Also, Tormod Script, really good. Uh, the Tron matchup, EOT for uh, fog effects and such. But one of the uh, big problems we will have with this list um, is uh, Weather the Storm. If that gets online, it's kind of a uh, lost cause at that point. So. After a huge hiccup, though, we still have six power on the board with no mana, so that feels pretty cool. Out comes a companion. Keep in mind, guys, this is like worst-case scenario. Got no lands, double mulliganed. Um, opponent played really good timed uh, cast downs to really kind of stifle our, and we've got lethal next turn um, with their, let them up against the ropes a little bit. Representing some sort of removal here, otherwise I think we would see Ornithopter show up. Okay. Does he got the mana for the cast down? We'll find out soon. Here comes some of it. This is when you want to turn on Bone Saw. This is when Tooth of Chiscor is really good too, though. You can do the little surprise element. Glad we got rid of those thought casts in retrospect. All right, our first land. It's on turn whatever this is. Is we'll come on over for probably seven. Interesting. And we're going to lose our slimy little companion, Sojourners. Bonesaw, is that already? That'd be true, but uh, so is Mold Drifter. I actually think our opponent's going to pull this one off. We're just, we got a little too hampered there. I was just like turn six or seven, and we technically don't have a land till turn eight, so <laughs> that's pretty cool to get your opponent at two life, though. Really makes you kind of rethink the whole construction, right? I was going with, uh, well, at first I went with a village rights build with the um, Demir land. And uh, I was noticing, though, I was getting rid of a lot of my fuel just to get two cards and uh, getting in kind of deep trouble early. Um, so I just I just kind of went all in with the blue angle there. So I drop a land. This is going to be very, uh, oh, no, they have two. Never mind. Down comes cast down. Killing our slimy companion. What a bummer. Hiya! Okay, well, we'll cast another one. Now this is when you wish this was a uh, Phyrexian Rager, but... Because we could attack with it. Click out of habit, sorry about that. Hey, at least get a Metal Drifter. Hella, Toka999! Thank you for joining us all on the stream today. Even though it looks like we're ahead, I don't think we're going to pull this one off. We got really screwed in our uh, mulligans there, so. It takes a lot of practice playing this list. You got to just kind of get used to what feels good and whatnot. Is, and uh, you always, always, always want to go second. Really need that pump of that last little bit. Having the discipline of shoving that fourth, tor or yeah, the fourth Tormod's Crypt instead of playing like two of or something and playing like maybe the full set of Preordains. Bit folly. You'll see why once you stream it up. Ultra Volcarine, thank you for the emojis and the love. All right. Yeah. Um, at the top of the show, we got that cool little uh, new segment we're doing. Just, you know, it's kind of, I was thinking like if you open up a um, fortune cookie and you get some sort of like popper reference and stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, got any cool ideas, head on over to our YouTube page and go under the community tab and chime in. We got a lot of little surveys and cool things and happenings and so like when i make a commercial new stuff um you'll see a lot of the new ramblings of madness <laughs> in there and have an ability to chime in and vote on some things sometimes so that's good times glad to see you back is this char belcher 2.0 yes it is we call it blue belcher because uh it's pretty much uh going crazy on that that angle all right well 
throw thought cast to the wind go like this hey we got a nice little uh, sneak surprise tack there one two three four i want to show you guys something pretty cool here um we can cast this with the bone saw that's attached that's a pretty neat little system you know what hold on a minute here i might need to use that tormod's crypt and that does require a tapping so let's attack Again, this is where I would really want, um, well, at least be able to get rid of the uh, uh, the wall here because of this. This has flash. Make no mistake. So again, we're not going to do any damage here, which really sucks. But we will be able to get rid of the wall. Two, three, four, five, and. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. What do I do, guys? So I can go one, two, three, four, five and get a free three, three out of it, but then we're kind of naked with Tormod's Crypt here. I feel like pulling this right now, pulling the trigger. Thanks for the list. Keep Crypt up. Yeah. They've got four cards. This is maddening. I guess we keep Crypt up. All righty. One, two, three, four. Ah, one more. Oh, well. I'll let it roll. See, respectable game against Tron. And we got double mulliganed and screwed out of tempo early. The little engine that could. You know, I'm always a fan of Ornithopter so much so. I got the picture here because sometimes at this stage, that's, that's what rules the game. You throw a bone saw on it and throw a tooth down and boom, you're good to go. Okay, well... I'm just going to do this now. Zapparuni. Uh-oh. This is a uh, Marasa for the... Probably the win. Yeah. It's going to be pretty hard to come back from that. Even when you got the answers against Tron, they usually got gotcha. you. <laughs> Zapparuni. Is that what I just said? What a fool. Okay. Let's go look. Maybe we'll go find some big fat. There, eh, not so much. I like both of these, but uh, we'll do that next turn. We'll do this this turn. Play this now. Do this dude here. Whoop, 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 and whoop. We'll attack. I don't have much else to do. Come on, Creed. Let's go. Probably there. Cool. So we hit for four. And he's just going to bring that back and bring back that, and that'll be 10. Yeah, does not looking too good here, guys, just because of the uh, life gain. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, I'm teaching you the uh, the bad English vocabulary, right? Nim. <laughs> I really like the little attention to detail you did on the letter you gave to us, the little, the little flares in the corner and stuff. Sure made my day. I was starting to get a little crestfallen, thinking like, ah, oh, I probably got lost in the mail. I went to the local uh, post office area for like, I don't know, God, three or four weeks in a row. Like I said last week, it was correlated with my salsa consumption. There's a really good place right next to it. And I always go ask for the salsa while they're refilling that. I go get the other thing, but all right. Curious line of play here. Uh, one, two, let's see, got like Holy Day? Zapparoni is perfect. Let's go find some problems. Cool. We got a whole lot of options. We'll just cast this because. I like that bone saw artwork. We'll just attack with everything. Don't know what we're walking into here. Is this holy day? Is this really holy day? What's going on here? Oh, okay. So he's gaining three. So that's cool. We haven't shown our cards yet. That's seven. Again, keep in mind, guys, we really had a stultified turn, right? Very. So that'll be five, six, seven. Boop. Boop. And boom. So sucky hand, early disruption against Tron. We still got it. One land beats Tron. How you like that? Alrighty. Ah. Well, we're kind of pre-boarded. This spell might be nice. Might be. I mean, it is kind of a Hail Mary. 
but that is why, why we have it. I got some options for that. Welding jar I like access to because they're running the cast down package. Saw some bone saw. Yeah. This and this. I don't really want to disturb this too much. We'll bring in one to spell. And uh, I believe we're probably going to get rid of a sphere. Not much blocking going on against Tron, right? It gets pulse. Mm -hmm. uh, Nimchimsky, that's a pretty close matchup. I can, you know, if, if you got the nuts, I just I just crush them before they even drop like one four four, and then they're and then like welding jar makes it even, and they make some galvanic play misplays because of the jar and such. But um, obviously, if if we did what happened there, they probably get us. Depends if uh, kind of what what version they're running there though, but. Um, that's the one we bring in just all the hydroblasts and such. So, um, yeah, I, I prefer it. You know me, Mr. Impatient. But um, I just I so hope this thing draws strong and you guys can really see. Because that was like a bad draw. One, two, three, four with that five. This is pretty good. We'll keep this. We've got a preordain, which I know looks a little goofy. But um, my son, Sapphire, I was... You know, I was like, I got two spots to fill. I really want card draw, but, you know, I've got really t hindered on mana. And we went back and forth. And uh, it was really nice having another magic head to um, kick off of, especially one that intelligent. I know I'm his dad. I'm always going to brag about him. But the kid is really going crazy with um, his knowledge of the game. It's it's nuts. All righty. So we'll bring this out. We'll bring this out. Yeah, I could drop this out. And sometimes there's a pretty cool player. Like we got, what, five here? You can sometimes pull off this, and I think I'm gonna pop this now. Um, might be a little reckless, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. Play a little. Let's see. That'll be uh, six, and then that'll be seven. Yeah, we can just go like this. We'll say. Uh, we'll say top, top, and we'll bring this out now. Why not? And uh, next turn, we'll get both our mer enforcers out. Unless, you know, he messes with us again, which is very optimal for them, uh, their line of play. Tormod's Crypt. Got to go old school, man. Old brown border goodness. Woo! Going to have a lot of Ric Flair. I've had some espresso beans today. And I ain't apologizing too. That's the, wait. Oh, no, we're going to be behind, aren't we? Well, we'll be able to get one out. Um... We do this to this to this to this. We'll say this, and then unfortunately we got to do this. Isn't that cool? You can pay with that, and it still doesn't work. So I miscounted a little bit. I thought we were going to be able to go kaboom, but we're just going to go kabust. The only one that works good with improvise as far as uh, still relevant while it's tapped out is welding jar. It's pretty nice to be able to throw that thing out. But hey, looks like we're going to get a reprieve from the governor. Ooh, do 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 do. Bot works again. But yeah, I've been on a tear with this deck. Um, with the preordained edition, I don't really remember the last time it lost. It's been pretty crazy. And you're about to see why. Let's go like this. Now, anything we draw is just extra. We've got backup. We've got graveyard hate. It's really not the best hand, but we got 11 next turn. So this is what happens a lot of times. They're just forced to just weather, <laughs> weather the storm, weather the robots, and uh, just keep taking seven, eight, nine, chipping apart, and it's usually too much. Fun, 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 18. Oh, man, love seeing you in the chat again. The Rick, <laughs> I saw Rick Filler interviewed. I was surprised how humble he was. Yeah, that, that tragedy with his son and stuff, I think really kind of set him on the straight and narrow. Now, we know they've got cast down. So we might want to save our uh, welding jar for... Now, who am I kidding? We'll save it. We'll just keep our uh, threats going. Come on, something good. Hey, huh, our sideboard showed up. Isn't that funny? Sometimes I like to attack... Now, look at this position here. If, like, let's say uh, Delver Fairies or whatever is coming at you, right? I mean, we're able to, if, if we get any of our eight things, we're able to kill any flying fairies. If a ninja sneaks through, we've got this blocker forever. And then they have to use removal on a 0-3. Kind of funny. And by kind, I mean very. Silver Raven? What are you talking about? 
Okay, well, let's uh, take out the Ornithopter, obviously. Say okay here, and then we'll just uh, regenerate our dude. Put the shield on him. Watch this. Oh, he's going to do something, and we're going to do something. We'll say no to that, sir. Point. My welding jaw will be superior. I don't know why I had to talk in that voice. Witching wall is way too expensive. You get that artifact, and then you never get the draw. That's why. We're playing six lands, guys. With, with the pedal, we got access to ten mana. We only need one. And there's a lot of times I feel flooded at two, two uh, drops. So I'm not about to put something in that costs four to get uh, much value out of. Uh, I, I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of life gain in the next turn or three. I think we'll just keep this mystery in our hand. We've got the uh, walker and the thopter. I'll just march these dudes down here. He's probably looking to trip a clue and get back into this. I don't know. He's got Marasa mana with the uh, help of Bonders ornament there. So. Does he take seven? What's going on here? Well, that's uh, kind of a good sign. He's using a uh, Femorate on an inspector. Still takes seven. I don't know why I didn't double block there. That's kind of strange. Yeah, Preordain just really helps you go find that if you if you're not at Affinity Seven, it helps you go find that free stuff and just do 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 or you know Thought Cast or Hydro Blast in games two or three or whatever. It really feels excellent. I'd actually if I was to do anything, I'd, I might want to try to fit in as a purist, you know, the third and fourth one. But it, it feels really good where it's at. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it is, and that's where it stops, Dreamer Stingo. And you have to pay for it, which, as you can see, we often have times trouble. Seriously, throw it in there, and you're going to hate seeing it every time. You really need the free stuff to accentuate the heat. If you like, if you don't like that, then just play standard affinity and be prodding and pressing and you know, come out around turn uh, four or five consistently. This one gets them on their back heels on turn two or three. It's sometimes it's it's... We still haven't really seen a ridiculous draw out of this. All right, we're keeping the mystery up. We're drawing kind of dead here, which is very natural for this list, just because, you know, we have to play a lot of kind of subpar stuff to really accentuate the uh, payment for these gigantic things that really uh, up the tempo and the value here. Yeah, drum would be better than well in this deck, but I don't like either. Even like sparring golems, interesting, you know, put a 1-1 one, one on something when it dies or whatnot, but... Again, my goal in like five years is to just play a no land artifact list like this. I think that'd be quite fun. Now, he's how scared is he of, of uh, uh, Tooth of Chiscora, right? We just win here. We can't. It sucks. I got a feeling my spidey senses are tingling that he's, he's on a Weather the Storm and he just wants me to play a spell here. So I'm, I'm going to kind of slow roll this a little bit. What do we got? Okay, a little desperation mode. Fog saves him. The Rhino Man saves him. Whiz bang. That's a man. Hey, dry bomber. No tooth, no thopter beats. The sadness continues. <laughs> All right, there he is. Okay, this game just is going to go long now. Here comes a bunch of life gain, probably. And they're going to crawl back into this. How are we even on time? I guess I'm just chattering too much. Did not expect to see Tron. It's been kind of hiding. Seeing a lot of... I almost guarantee you we're going to face Affinity. Yeah. Hopefully we win the speed race there. Welding Jar is just MVP there, as is all the uh, artifact love in the side there. Tormod's Crypt doing some good work here. I guess they wait till they target something. Bring up the uh, game log. Okay, he's targeting. Um, what's he targeting? Votes Core Skyfisher. I'm going to vote uh, Core Skyfisher 2. Alrighty. Kill this out. Trying to let some attack uh, get through here. Down 
comes the beast. One mana. How strange. Preordain shows up right in time. Let's go find some love. Wish we had one more to spell, but hey. Hey, there we go. That feels pretty good. Being that they're at one life, don't really mind this too much, so I'll I'll go with uh, we'll throw this on uh throw this on top and this on top. And uh I'll cast this here, cast this here, and attack. Oh, can't. Duh. I'm dumb. And yeah. Forgot about the uh, stone horn, damn it. Yeah, shared discovery used to have it. Had three, then two, then one, went down. There's a lot of board state to look at it and go, wouldn't that be cool to draw right now? And it would be. But uh, early on, you want to be turning your creature sideways and smashing. And for every time you've got a bunch of hollow shield spheres and Phyrexian walkers, there's many other times your Mer Enforcer's got to go to school to uh, draw you some cards. So it might be a play style thing, but I've tried it, and I thought it was a big Eureka moment. And when I when I did it, I was or when I had it in, I, every time I saw it, I'm like, ugh, ugh just tempo kill. Four creatures got to tap. Even at this ridiculous rate of uh, explosion with robots, we're still, that's half our team. All right. Five cards. Tron's doing its thing. <laughs> Try Bomber, yeah. What I'm trying to do is not play your standard list, right? And I've been beating the standard lists pretty pretty regularly having a good time doing it but yeah i'm not gonna lie i think something's gonna get banned soon i don't think the the um salamander is gonna go anywhere which i think will probably if affinity really explodes after like storm gets banned then we'll have to figure some stuff out but yeah that dnd set it it keeps diluting itself a little bit. I keep looking at it compared to the last few. Strixhaven had quite a few cards that were pop irrelevant. I mean, MH2 speaks for itself. And then I guess you can't keep the faucet running the whole time, right? Can't be blazing hot the whole time. Um, the, yeah, the, those, those dungeons are looking really, really clunky. I hope they have a streamlined, real real easy, like, scry one, scry two, you're done with the dungeon sort of, sort of thing. So... All right. Uh, for sake of uh, speed here, I, th I think they've got us here in a little bit of a lock. So I'm just going to scoop this game up, guys. Could maybe fight it out, win the good fight, that sort of thing. But I want to keep an entertaining show going. And I'm pretty sure they're, they've got a wall of, uh, like, uh, yeah, what do you call uh, momentary, not momentary blink. Ah, weather the storm and, and that sort of thing. So uh, we do have Tormod's Crypt, but it's only one so many. So. I like what we got here. We're going to keep this going and we will submit. We've got to make sure to go second, though. Party mechanic in the last set. Yeah. Yeah, Dry Bomber, I tell you, MH2, every time we draft, like I said last week, you know, it's like 70 bucks, but they only have it for like two or three weeks because, it, you know, supply demand thing, it's selling so well. So we're building up a oh man i had a rakdos list last night probably the best draft i've ever done it was uh it just kept coming i had i had so much removal and so much everything i lost the very first round against the guy that went undefeated he, he 2 owed everybody every game mike something and uh and i won 2 0 after that every every single game but um i would have i would have bet money that i wasn't going to lose one game sucked that i had to beat my kid but what are you gonna do no we don't want to play first ever mm, not good not good. Only well, got one accelerant and a bunch of clogging here, and all of our blue showed up. So we're gonna mulligan this. Mulligan, come on, give us a bunch of zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Zip, pa, cool. We'll keep this. Ooh, I guess we get rid of the sphere. It's the least important one there. Oh, they like to live dangerously at one life. <laughs> I don't want to have gut shot here. If you could double it as an artifact and it showed up, that'd be nice. I always like to lead off with Welding Jar in case they just have some sort of some trickology I never heard of. All right. 
I'll do this, we'll do this, and we'll do this, and then we'll do this. Hey, cast it, baby. Woo! That feels pretty good. Double back up, and we've got, we can even attack with this, so. You know, we took a mulligan there, guys, but we are representing uh, uh, four turns right here. Oh, yeah, Little Fight, you know, um, who was responsible for a lot of the solidification of those rules and uh, cleaning them up was our very own Toothmaker, who might might or not be in the chat. It's so quite a few, about, gosh, about five or six years ago, I think. Now, this is pod racing. <laughs> now, we really just want another 7-7. Seven, seven. Telling, tell, te, telling tales out of school. Come on, give us a big fatty. Make it easy. Let's just make it easy. All right, he's going to do this thing. We've got the answer. Now we only hit for one, so that sucks, but it's a really good play by our opponent. Give us a fatty. Ugh. God dang it. See what happens here? We, I mean, we're only risking one attack here, but I'll do it. Eh. These guys. Tap, tap. And right-click on this, the bottom one. You don't want to use your lotus petal here. All right. Now we've got eight damage coming at him. And we still have, we're all tapped out, but we can still keep things safe with Welding Jar. That feels pretty cool. Here comes some life. That'll negate the Foundry Assembler. Again, guys, uh, might have been able to fight off the 2-0 uh, victory last turn, but I doubt it. Tron's pretty, pretty nasty. And we got a good race, hoping they get a little stifled and we keep drawn decently. And Thoughtcast would be really nice here. Or not. We'll do that. Still, uh. An attacker. Well, come on over with everything. You can play a little reckless, wanton, whatever you want to call it, because of welding jar. All right, I'm going to spread, diversify my threats here as we swing for eight. Actually, speaking of the artifact lands, as Dry Bomber did, the blue white one managed to make into Brute Squad thus far, basically. Yeah, I, I tinkered around with that. Um, you know, the problem with Brute Squad right now is everybody's so, and it, this happens for a lot of lists, um, everybody so needs to be ready for Storm that a lot of the carryover from that makes it a really bad choice right now, even given the artifact lands. So once it gets banned, I'll probably come roaring back with it, but until then. All right, kind of like uh, they've got they've got their guys online, but we've also got ours, so uh, I'll just attack here with our dudes, keep our walker back, and... Uh, Hope we get in for some decent damage. I'd rather keep this seat of sign out of mystery. Not like we're going to run into too much uh, discard. Thanks for joining me, everybody, here on Propaganda. Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's what the PST means. A lot of foreigners don't get that. I thought it was kind of common speak, but hey, it's just being a selfish American. Speaking of selfish American, uh, 4th of July, <laughs> tomorrow. Super Pooper 23. All right, good to see you back. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Oh, they've got, they've got moments of peace, don't they? Oh, well, we'll just do this and see if it gets there. Nope. All right. Interesting. All eight, one, nine. It's just a little whispering in the title. Apes. <laughs> and stick around for the very end of the show. We are going to be burning a circle of protection, white bordered circle of protection, full of oxymoronic screwing up the time space continuum logical value timeline. However you want to say it, we're going to be burning it, even though it's supposed to be protected. Super Pooper says, I haven't been able to make it on Saturdays, but still checking you out on YouTube. Thank you for that. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of love this week. It really, it's always that slow growth. I like a little weed in the bricks. Welcome to live. <laughs> Burning wind at the end of the show, just so I can open the window right afterwards and air it out. I was making a mistake. We burned a few cards live. We burned nausea. We burned uh, pestilence and counterspell. Oh, don't be the dude. Okay, that's fine. That's not a big deal. I was so glad that that was not um, the Rhino Man. The Rhino Man can... I'm watching too much Wonka. Here we go. All right. Well, I'll just play this for the inevitability. Let's... I'm going to instigate him attacking, maybe, like anyone would do that, but... I was going to run and grab a beer and a cheeky smoke. Go for it. Oh, did you metal land make it in a brute squad? Yes, it did. 
to be uh, 100 about it, as the kids say. All right, well, we're just going to kill the wall here. Kill the team, kill the wall. We've got cast down. We've got lethal with foundry. He's going to go after sojourner. We're going to welding jar. Maybe he's got another answer for it and blinks it. Who knows? Got him on the heels, but, you know, fog or life gain, and he's right back in it. So I'll be honest, I haven't seen Tron with this uh, list. Maybe once, but I had really... Yeah, it was once, and I had a super, like, best of hand ever. They scooped game two. I dropped, like, I don't know, two Sojourners on turn two. It was nuts. And had, like, Thought Cast right behind it. Hard. But, yeah, I'll be probably playing this all weekend long. It's just a lot of fun. And one of the, Again, one of those lists have kind of been, that's kind of been the MO this year if uh, you're getting kind of burned out. I want to play something a little different that's very competitive. This is pretty cool. Yeah, with those thriving Heaths and Isles, though, it's uh, a Bonders ornament. Feels like they can just play any colors they want. All right, this is going to get evoked. Now, this is Desperation. At this stage, we almost want him. we got to keep in mind that Golden Egg is sitting there. If this dies, then, yeah, he's got the fog. That sucks. Hey, we might top deck into a uh, dispel. We're pretending we have it with the seat there. And okay, he's going to get that. He's at ten. Uh, if we get like a thought cast here, right? Come on, uh, not what we needed. Definitely not what we needed. I'll attack here like this. Get him down to two. Damn it. I just feel I'm clawing back. Where have we been here before, right? And this is the kind of stuff, you know, if I go into a league, I know I'm just going to, supposed to be ready for a storm and affinity, and I'm going to run into Tron and have these eke out life from behind. That's what it does. That's also why I usually don't tend to play leagues or challenges anymore until talking about ban something, right? I, I'm still on that train, boy. All I got to do is rework the uh, inner workings of Tron to start getting things back online with regards to... Uh, oh, man, does he have another land here? How to deal with this squirrel menace. Craziness. Come on, come on. And where's our Tormod's crit? Darn it. Yeah, he's got the cast down. I really hope he uses it now. We know he won't. If we get another tooth, we could probably win it here. He's going to cast down our dude. We're going to try to save it. He's going to block that. We'll kill the wall. Or will we? I don't know if getting them to one's any different. We really want to see a uh, tooth of Chiscora here or a thought cast. We've drawn dead twice. Nature of the deck. We've got a lot of zero so that it can promote explosivity. That's all right. Not the greatest. We'll play it. Keep the mystery alive. What's this? Man, how good would that be if that was Dispel right now, right? We'll save it. I thought of, um, and I tried to run the scale, which is the same thing, but gives it a plus against Affinity because they always have like three Galvanic Blasts in their hands, but in the end, I say no. I'll attack like this. I'm just going to kill that wall, guys. One damage, two damage. Dreamer Stingo is just probably like, I told you to play Gutshot. Doesn't mean we would have it in our hand. <laughs> Got a pretty threatening board here, but, you know, one uh, Stonehorn Dignitary shows up and probably sent us back. And to be honest, I really want the bands. The idea that Tron can even be on footing with two new decks in the metagame. Yep. It is to me too, Dry Bomber. It's like, um, it's, it's kind of like, Oz and the Wizard of Oz, right? He's kind of like behind the curtain going, yeah, you guys, look, keep pointing at these new shiny things as the problem, and it's still just lurking there, and good pilots are just, they ain't going to go anywhere. Oh, we climbed to eight. Hmm. And now what? I'm not drawing the greatest here. The stage of the game. Number one thing you want to see is thought cast. Just kind of refuels your hand. Don't really, probably don't have to say that. 
don't be the stone horn, don't be it. Oh, hey, I don't mind that at all. What sort of treachery is this one? He didn't have it already. It's the egg showing up. Well, that'll gain him life. That gets him a nine. We go here. What's the one for, Governor? Hey, yo. There we go. Ballsy play there. I think this is kind of our last option, and we didn't get the we didn't get the goods there, so that kind of blows. But hey, we'll attack here. Bring this dude back. Go like this. Oh man, I hate when I screw up my glasses. Touch him with me, oily hands. Oh, that'll die. Spread out our threats. We don't do enough yet again. All right. I'm back. I have beer. <laughs> Wish I did. Maybe make me play a little bit loosey. Looser, gooser. They keep building up the threats. Um, I guess they could have a uh, swirling sandstorm. That would kind of end our day, right? Tooth of Chiscora showing up. Very important, that flash three spot. As is the frogmite, just for the structure. Play this like ten times. You know, this is a really good hand to... Um, you go to the uh, deck editor, right click, go to properties. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then you just sample hand, sample hand, sample hand. Just stare at it. And you really kind of have to relearn what a good hand is. Takes a day or two. Salt Miser Sloop. Do you think of Rolling Thunder and Tron is still good? Oh, yeah, it's always good. Kind of like Kervik's Torch style stuff, the uncounterability. A wee bit more. I'm on Chardonnay myself, says Nim Chimsky. Football tonight, starting. Cons <laughs> consolation drinking early. Oh, you mean the real football. The, the rest of the world considers football. That's right. Okay, here comes a big old 3-3 three, three to go get back some life, and then uh, they're going to just crawl back into this game. We've got three minutes on them, so I will fight for this one. I was expecting this to be like the third round already. That's how fast I'm usually beating people with this list, but Pulse and Ross is saying something different about that. Let's do this. Pulse is back. I'm going to get back a mole drifter. Yeah, it's so, so hard for me to get into traditional football, soccer, as we call it here in the ignorant states of America. Um, just, man, they've got to speed that game up. All right, our charm player's in the red. Hit the dude, hit the rude sandstorm. It would be. I've got a build of this that leans heavily on red with a uh, Carcan Shaman main just in case you need it. It's much faster than baseball. Oh, yeah, don't get me started on baseball. My wife likes that atrocity of a game, not me. Itching and scratching and all the little weird quirks and spitting. And it's like, God, are we playing a game here? Or are we just celebrating OCD. Some of those batters, they get up and they adjust their glove and then they kick something and then they sniff and spit and then they adjust the thing again. And it's every single bat. I'm just like, God, I thought I was bad. Do we got an opening here? We might. Huzzah! Let's attack. All right. We beat Tron. It was like pulling teeth. But I beat Tron. All right, so we're just going to jump right into another one here, and hopefully we um, have a little bit better hands. That first game, we won it, but um, our, it was fighting us, wasn't it? All right, we're going to create this, and uh, I'm just glad we didn't get a quit. Oval 18, heck yeah, F-Tron. <laughs> I like your style, Oval 18. Uh, so those of you that might be joining us a little bit late as we wait for our next victim, we will uh, go over the list here. Um, having a lot of fun with this. So many zeros that I had to spread it out because I don't want to have to scroll. These are the only things you're going to pay for in this list, ideally, right? Uh, and they cost one. That's why we're running six lands. Everything else, zero, 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 zero. This is always free. This is usually free. Come on, wake up. And this is usually free. And then that makes these free and these free. And then you keep them safe with the jaw. And then our sideboard does the rest. So, yeah, good times. Ah, there's my little thing. All right. Ah. So, yeah, we've got... um. We've got a new Shadow Mage Theater, 
if uh, you know shadow mage infiltrator i think it's the end of them i don't know if i can find any more shadow puppets that'll work for magic related items so it's a little bit longer one but it's all new and then um if you follow us on youtube you've already seen a little bit of it and then we also have um you know some of those uh forgotten realms commercials that are coming out from from the mothership really cringy so there were a few to choose from and i chose the least cringiest one um and then we've got a uh, our old uh, fire and ice vodka since everybody's kind of in the drinking mood and uh, the jaya's chili vodka and jace's ice gin commercial coming at the second break as well so uh and an old one in the uh, unicorn there so anyway go real slow here i always cringe when i see more than two of these because it's usually kind of a slow roll here but we will be risking a keep here because we can power out this and we'll just see how this goes we'll keep not everybody's got super hate. Let's go. And who knows? Maybe they'll just rage quit. We don't want that. Alrighty. Come on. Give us a thought cast. Uh, not another one of those. We'll go here, here, and then we have to pay for it. That really blows, but whatever. Yeah, this is watch. This is when chittering rats is just gonna keep our her salamanders in hand, and it's usually we're hell bent like that. But this is pretty bulky hand here. Alrighty, I'm gonna be paying a lot of life as the robot speaks up for our propaganda on YouTube channel. Yeehaw! We got a new supporter thing. Not with me uh, barking about stuff. Pretty pretty enthused about that. Got a whole new look and feel to it. So that, I'm liking that. Oh, we're so close to just going crazy here, but at least we have some... Let's see, just to make sure. Yeah, it costs two. We'll be going crazy next turn. We can't really do anything here, so we're just going to let them take two, and we'll take three, and then we'll get back to me. Hopefully. Don't really... Uh, Welding jar, if somebody reads it, kind of keeps them from using removal. Tiny bit too long, and then kaplop, we just explode. As tempted as you are to block here, you have to realize that your ornithopters and your frog mites, everything is your mana in this list. Takes a bit of getting used to. I really don't mind that. Now that's turn one, that's one of the most devastating cards against this list. I'm not gonna tell tales out of school, as I'm fond of saying. What do we got here? More new devilry? Hmm. Did you guys see that mono black list that uh, placed in the, I think it was mono black in the top eight. It was uh, pretty gr pretty great. All right, here we go. Time to explode. Cast and cast. What is this? Turn three. Uh, that ain't bad for fourteen damage on the board. I placed uh, impatient. I uh, placed. I faced impatient traveler in round one of the. Uh, Popper Classic Tuesday tournament with Storm, who had won the previous week, and got him 2-0 um, with hands very similar to this and the Echoing Truth. But to be honest, I was playing uh, uh, the Duress version with uh, uh, Village Rights. If you want to head on over to that, you can go see it. But um, I think this is the superior way to go, a little bit more streamlined. And then you run into this situation here where if you're running the Village Rights, Thoughtcast is your engine build, you have those games where you have um, you have village rights, but no black mana, or um, well, that's that's usually the, the scenario that would come up. And I was like, you know what, this runs so little land, I can't really hope to get that even even with lotus petals. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna play that, uh, being that it's black and there's quite a bit of things that can come and get us. So I mean, as far as our hand, I don't want to see a chittering rat out of the blue, even though it looks like it's a zombie theme deck. Let's go from there. Okay, so he takes 14. <laughs> Really shuts off his uh, Sangrophages. They can't really do anything. Blackburn, that's the one I'm thinking of saying. Yeah, yeah. It was Blackburn, Dry Bomber. Yeah, good times. Boom, boom, boom. I hope we have an affinity matchup. It's usually the norm, about one in three matchups. I, oh, he comes roaring right back in it. Good times. It's a nice use of the, the uh, Phage there. One more Gary, and we're going to be getting into something hairy. See what I did there? Super Pooper 23. As we attack, 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 attack. 
Why am I attacking with an Ornithopter? Because I got options, baby. Okay. And is Gary going to bite the dust here? I think he's got to. Yeah, I think he kind of reversed that order. 2 1, 2 1. So we go like this. Uh, we'll play this out. Get him no one. Uh, Gary shows up. That's going to be frightening, isn't it? Uh, we'll do this. Keep our dude alive. Splat! Got him at one. Gary will get us to one. That's an intriguing build. All right. I kind of like what our opponent's doing there. It's neat. It's like, you, you know, clear the way. Hey, if they got the idea, then whatever. If not, I've got a, it's a nice new build. Or, I mean, new way of, of looking at that. Well, with all our big fat shield blockers and stuff, we're all right. Um, being with the creature base, we're not going to see too much of... I think I'm just going to keep this as is, guys. I mean, we can do a superstitious shuffle, as I'm fond of doing. We'll put a frogmite between the two seats. That's never lost before. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, there it is. Nimchimsky with the knowledge. Thank you for that. My co-monitor. And Shirazaman, as always, from day one, as was Little Fight. I think it was our very first show. We met Shiraz, and he's been here ever since. So, everybody, give him a little virtual round of applause with some emotes in the chat there. As well as a little fight. We're going second. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, 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 we're going to keep this. Man, if we draw into a seat, we're going to be loving it. If not, it's gonna, we're going to be in the hot seat. We'll keep kind of surf a little bit here. Yeah, I have this built in paper already. It's just too fun. It's the free deck. Even. Prismatic doesn't work against it. That's another reason I got rid of some Harbor Guard. Can't protect it with Welding Jar. I love Evasion. You guys know me. Love it, love it, love it. But, all right. Oops, I broke my rule. I usually lead off with this. I'll do this, to this, to this, to this, to this. And then we do nothing. Now, if we had our little dude out, we could tap it and have a 3-3 out with protection. But we really want a seat to show up here. Odds are we're going to get another zero. We're about another turn away from the Murm Force, but we do have Welding Jar to keep things uh, feisty. And uh, I've always got to trip out on um, Intimidate. That's an uh, artifact. Okay, yeah, so we're safe forever. Damn good uh, little card there. I mean, it's got Evasion, and uh, with the Gary Shell that he's going for, or she, I don't, I don't know. It's a pretty great. Oh, yuck. This is one of those stultified hands here, guys. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen cooking pancakes. <laughs> Little fight's always cooking something. I'm always brewing something of the non-calorie persuasion. What on earth is this? He's going to tap it. Okay. Well, that does get devotion. Paralyzed. You know, that's surprisingly effective removal that I think is uh, not, not really played enough. One mana keeps the thing out of the game. And against us, it's literally like good removal with the upside of Gary because it's not like we're going to ever get to four mana unless this gets to turn 30. And in that case, we've probably lost. It's good our opponent is a, a little stultified as well. There. Ah, oh, come on. Damn salamanders like me. It's too much. He has to look for those as a kid in the rocks in the forest. Always hearing little folk tales about their magical properties, but boy, they give off a stink. I'm glad I don't remember that smell. <laughs> Usually remember smells. I know it's tied to the brain like super, super close, but I'm sure if I smelled it, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's it. And it's just been out of my catalog for too long now. I watch we draw the uh, the um, innovate guy or whatever it is, and we our, our walker's tapped and we, we can't do this. No, I don't want to pay for this ever. No, get, go and get. Ah, life, life. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go get more life. Ah. Zero gives us more life. Let us get more life. And then more, and then some more. And then we'll draw some more. 
It will be a hideous outing full of metal beasts turning sideways, loud screeching rusty sounds as we trample over our... Well, no trampling here. I'm lying. We don't have any trample. We don't need it. We just crush. Oops, all crips. Hey, we don't mind. You got to look at it as mana, Dreamer Stingo. We've got options here, baby. Hey, what's all this about, Governor? All right. He's, oh, he's probably just sitting on a bunch of LD, and he's like, I'm going to... It's like, we don't really need it, dude. I mean, it does... It, this is kind of the rare case where it does hurt us with double thought cast in, in hand, but that's probably where we top out on uh, Lotus Petal. All right. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't want to pay that. Go and get All right. We'll pay it. Here we go. And we'll attack. hi -ya! Crept into the crypt. Crept and crept out again. <laughs> Glad I read that fast, Shiraz. I really like that. I... <laughs> I'm ignorant of your culture, and I'm glad you shared it. That's awesome. All right. We're going to do some stuff here as we smash for eight, and we keep our dudes nice and straight, upright, salamander goodness. We turned over the rock. We killed the beast. Good times. Come on, make our Tormod's Crypt relevant. Or as I call it, mana's three, four, fives, and six. Hey, all right. There we go. Why are my bladders doing fine, guys? I think we're just going to roll right into game three. I haven't lost yet. I haven't really seen a great hand yet. We've seen some decent ones, some good ones. You can see that kind of back-on-your-heels sort of mentality that this thing is very good at uh, creating as we create a new game. Hi-ya! So, yeah. If you play this, please, are you right about it? Please just call it Blue Belcher. I feel horrible because... The guy that gave us the initial idea like eight months ago, and we called it Char Belcher, it was a pretty different list. It had the hexproof guy, but still, um, like give credit where it's due. I should go back to that video and, and find. I think it was Sebastian something. Um, but yeah, we we fortunately been getting about four or five submissions a week uh, with cool ideas. Sometimes not so much, but hey, we're not gonna call them out if they're not. It's all about innovation, right? Yeah, that's uh. So yeah, if we count up our free spells, I mean, it's pretty much, uh, what, what's this, six and six? So we've got uh, 48 free spells, technically. And if you want to count Gut Shot, we've got that too. It's a pretty ridiculous list. I just love it. It's uh, so much fun. Hey, I know we're pausing, so here comes our next victim. Wambo. Here we go. As we roll in to round them, or game number three. No, we never want to play first. Never, never, never. No. Click very slowly. Carry a very small stick. Yeah, I'm going to keep this because we're on the draw and we've got all these delicious thought casts. So we'll keep this. Watch, he duresses us. And, or I mean, uh, divests and takes our seat. <laughs> hey, that's kind of a funny play on words. Takes our seat. It means something completely different here. I wish I had a stupid beer right now. Don't have divest. Don't have divest. It's probably one of the only times that's a good card is against us. All right. Well, we've got that and this and that in here. Well, it's not going to do too much of anything if we do this. I'm going to slow roll this. I'll just play this out. I'll keep our little creature back. One of the few times you'll see me really go slow. What is this new devilry? All right. I'll get out of Edict Realm here. I'll go like this. I'll go like this. Look, we're flooded, everybody. There's five. All right. Eh, whatever. Let's draw some all. All right. Boop. Our stuff's relevant now. Boop. Boop. And then this guy. You for mana, you for mana, you for mana, you for mana. Ah, you too. I really wish this was a welding jar right now because we're looking down swamps, but whatever. We're going to refill our hand next turn. But I'm molested here. We've got uh, nine damage coming at him. Two of it with evasion. If we double tooth the uh, ornithopter. Ornithopter's got teeth!
and I've got caffeine for days. All right, there's a W, which is haunting because we don't know other than Golgari what the hell we're up against. But yeah, we would have drawn two cards. Bonk, bonk. There's oh, okay, and then we would have drawn for the turn. That's gross. I would add backup counter and then smash. Okay, they're probably doing something with the graveyard being Golgari. I'm not too worried about anything else, so I'm just gonna keep rolling here, guys. We're the problem. Turn things sideways, draw a lot, and smash. Kind of hope we see a little bit of the squirrels show up. That can be tempting. Got to lean on the uh, seat draw or, or pedals and sit back on uh, echoing truth details. It was nice having access to duress. Not going to lie, but we're on the draw. We can go one, two, three. I'll, I'll keep this. We're really flooded here. Isn't that funny? I say we got two man, two mana. We'll keep, but we're on the drop, so we're gonna we're gonna see some more fun here. We're probably gonna get to rest, which who knows? We'll just, oh, I guess not. Another cool thing: so many of these coming to play tap lands, and this deck's going faster than ever before, and all the other decks are going a little bit slower than ever before. And so, oh come on, three! This is half of our land. Ridiculous. I could play Thoughtcast here. <laughs> I have to play two. I'll wait on it. Eh, that blows. What a crappy top deck. Three lands? Come on. It's half our land. This is when we do want a bunch of Tormod's Crypts to show up. Come on. Draw them out. Let's go. Yeehaw. All right. Well, I guess we'll just draw. Give us a bunch of zeros, please. I'm tired of looking at these fatties. Oh, there's one. Bring that out. Did I play land already? Yeah, I did. Just getting dizzy with this stuff. We'll draw here. All right, here we go. Uh, go ahead and try and kill that. That'd be funny if he's got like some edict effect right now. We don't have our dude here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I could. If I play that, I'm just gonna draw another again, another thought caster. Sometimes you get a concession when you have openers like this. It gets a little ridiculous. We'll play this out. Play this out. Play this out. Is this turn two? I think so. One, two, three, four, and five. I'll probably be able to deal with one of these guys. And if, oh, I thought we'd see an end of turn cast down there, which is always nice when you draw a welding jar. And after three thought casts, you think you would, but hey, all right. Oh, guys, I'm telling you, this is what it's been like all week. Just crunch, crunch, munch a bunch, and you get a little uh, bored. So I probably will be taking this to a league pretty soon. Um, we are the robots. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to go over to uh, the Mothership's Forgotten Realms little promo. I'm going to get some coffee. I suggest you do the same, and you're going to see our new little supporter thing. If you do love it, and thank you to all you in the chat here. Don't mean to, you know... What do you call it? Big prod steel, whatever, but um, keeps the lights on sort of thing. Uh, the old buy me a coffee site. So uh, anyway, without further ado, be back in just a few. See you in a few. Okay, you got this. Yes, yes. These are spider legs. Yeah, you're wolf. You're just doing the same thing. Vary it up. I don't... Okay, come on. Did you even read your clue correctly? Hand time. Ah, the clue was ranger. How is this a ranger? It's our turn. It's All right. We're going to show you how it's done. Let's take this. Yeah, let's take this. All right, ready here? Ready? Yep. Let's do it. Barbarian. Yep. yep. Bard. Yep. Okay. Claire. Wizard. Druid. Yep. Mm -hmm. Druid, yeah, obviously. Uh, Wizard. Fighter. Close. Uh, <laughs> monk. <laughs> Paladin. Ah. The guy with the th uh, rogue, rogue. Oh, wizard, magic, sorcerer, warlock. Ah! Pointy hat person. Ah, wizard. I meant wizard. Pointy hat person. I got excited.
best impersonation of an ominous force. Yeah. How'd you guys like that new, uh, we got the new supporter vid, minus my ugly visage, and the uh, new shadow mage. Thought it was kind of cool to find a little Thurban inspector. <laughs> hmm. Snuggle foxes. New to the chat. Thanks for joining us. Woo. I got all kinds of new stuff here. So we got a really much better commercial coming up next break as uh, already in uh, about one hour in we beat Nesper Tron zombies and uh, don't even know we've won so fast last term Golgari something don't know maybe it was tortured existence who knows pretty brave for bringing that to this format but if that's indeed what it was we are in the queue here everybody so um, we'll go over our sideboard here this is obvious Fabate and then we've got uh, you know storm mechanics here Four Hydro Blasts was proving not to be enough against Galvanic Blast, Fling, and a Tog and stuff. And then, you know, your random burn stuff. So we bring in the uh, Blue Elemental Blast as well. And then one Lonely Dispel sitting here, which was pretty cool. So we had a lot of fun with that. Um, yeah, we got 28 creatures in this beast. Nothing cost more than one, given that this is free, or not free, one, one, and then everything else is free. So uh, if you really like free stuff, and uh, I love this list. It's very fun. But yeah, anyway, stick around for the, uh, oh, no, where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. This disgusting white-bordered Circle of Protection Red will be getting a torch to it at the end of the show. We kind of go like this, and you guys will be happy to hear I adjusted the camera. It's it's just me, but bigger on the screen with me still in the, in the corner here. It was kind of the easiest fix there for, like, these close-up shots. So you actually be able to see it really burn live. And if you want to have your own card burned, we... Um, we got a little promo for that, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, we burn Nausea, Pestilence, and Counterspell. I've still got them up here. Here's the remnants of Counterspell. Yeah. Actually, while we're waiting. Oh, no, never mind. It's going to show you guys the new screen there, but everybody likes to see a white border Counterspell get burned, right? All right. We are going second. We've got one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five free plays and then if I do anything else after that if we draw into something we're going to be all right so we're going to keep this here we go uh, that's what makes it funny super pooper 23 doesn't it have protection from fire not in this house because white border negates it that's what I'm talking about hey hey long time no see the martyr guy all right good to see you <laughs> if you want your own card burned well it has to be white bordered I'm not lawless all right we're going to lead off with this Watch closely, everyone. This is where the magic happens. They might get a concession here. Okay, it's happened. You guys saw it. We've got backup protection. We've got flying power. We're representing nine a turn here. It happened, so I can relax now. We haven't lost yet, and you saw an explosive turn. I'd really like those shield spheres to be some other zero, but what are you going to do? Freed from the reel. That makes me a little scared. Doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet. <sighs> Take a lighter to the edges, to the burn deck, for that authentic feel, says Dry Bomba. All right, right on time. We'll just rack up some more damage. Hell with nine. Let's go for ten. As we bring up Bone Saw, it's just so nice to have Welding Jar back up here. So anybody that plays Popper is going to know that at this stage with Normal Affinity, you're playing pro Prophetic Prism, right? Hey, you, go there. All right. And then maybe the next turn, one more, and then you're, you, then you're ready. But look, you're dead. I was going to send my BGS COP red. Yeah, this one traveled the entire length of the world to get here and meet its fate at the man who hates white borders more than anyone else. Woo! And please set people correct if they claim that this is their list. This is mine, baby. Just like Brute Squad. Just like uh, Rallygond and uh, Boros Bully. And tweak it. Just give credit where it's due. Yuck! We're, we're flooded again. This sucks. Who needs two mana? Who needs one mana? Let's go. We're not out of the woods yet. 
Good news is they kind of have to block stuff. Boop, boop. Oh, well, here we'll just keep a little mystery in our hand. That Thopter getting in some work. Send them to D. <laughs> oh, I don't think I would do that either, uh, Martyr Guy. I just hate some of the uh, really ugly looking white bordered stuff when it, when it looks so elegant when it has a black border. And so everybody knows that about me. It's just kind of one of my little quirks. And so I'm always looking for content. So we grab some crappy white bordered stuff that hurts the eyes and we improve it by burning the edges off, at least partially. Hey, it makes for good stuff, right? What are we up against here? Walls, I think. Emphasis on the W for we won. Eastern Hemisphere to the Western. All right, cool. Well, that was an explosive turn. Not out of the woods yet here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if Echoing Truth is really going to be necessary here. We haven't really seen much of our great uh, sideboard, right? We brought in A to spell. Believe me, if we run into Fae, we bring in the gut shots, often losing um, one assembler. We never lose Preordain or Thoughtcast, but... I, do, do, do. I don't think we're going to need our Shield Spheres here, but I don't... Uh, You know, this is the kind of matchup you bring in gut shot and then you get a bunch of zero threes and you never see Aquarian Ranger show up. Um, we don't really need the graveyard much, but I also, you've got to treat your zeros as mana. So let's just play again and hopefully we explode again. But this is what's fun because then our opponent wants to go first. Get the jump on us, but little do they know that's how we get the jump with that extra land. Our artifacts just go <laughs> splat. We have one, two. Ugh, this isn't that good of a hand. I don't like this hand. We're going to mulligan this. We got one, two, and then nothing. Now, if we got into a third, yeah, we still don't have nothing. We're going to mulligan this. Good times. See? Lands are overrated. I'm a little late. How does this deck do versus Squirrel Storm? Hasn't lost yet. We've got four Echoing Truths, and we're usually a wee bit too fast game one. Unless they have the nuts, it's kind of who has the nuts. We'll keep this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lose anything here. That Frogmite's probably not going to be doing much of anything, though. I really want to hold on to these four. This is a tough decision. One, two, three, four. I'm actually going to get rid of a Frogmite. They have so many zero threes and stuff. I want to. I want to really preserve these guys. Ah, we'll get rid of a Walker. Then we'll draw into an artifact. That's why I wanted to get rid of the uh, Frogmite there. We don't really have a tooth to uh, push through value here. So, all right. Well, I suck. One, a two, a three, and we can't do anything about it. You can actually play, play Frogmite there, I believe, the way the stack works. Um, it, it asks you for one mana, and then you drop the pedal, even though it doesn't make sense because you've only got two left over. It works. A little bit of a desperation play here. Speaking of desperation, we're up against it here. We better draw something good. It's pretty good. We'll play this for free, and then uh, we'll cast this and turn all of our creatures into little bird of paradises. Aren't they cute? Go like this. Next turn will explode, but it might be too late against the wall deck. Pretty decent. Ba -ba -ba -da -bum. Daskar 84 is our opponent. Here comes the defense. We really want a tooth here so we can turn on our blocking surprises. Usually once you show them one tooth, they get a little hesitant, but they can't stay there long because the four fours are coming. Yeah, yuck. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we'll just cast this. We'll leave all mystery to chance. Should I? Yeah, we'll just play this out. Could attack here, but they're just going to do beneficial blocks. I'm not even going to do that. Once they see the tooth, I might do that out of order, and then they might get a little hesitant and get in a little bit of free damage. Free from the real showing up. Dust to dust, pretty good against us. Too bad it's in the graveyard. Ornithopter of Paradise would be a good name for a card. That's what these all seem to turn into. I think I said that, or did you just come up with it? I don't know. I get diarrhea of the mouth here. I just uh, keep talking. 
fill the hours up. Hopefully it doesn't irritate many of you. I'm sure it does some. Speaking of uh, Onothopta, I guess we'll keep our dudes back. I'll just cause some confusion with that dude showing up. Maybe we got a ninja in our hand, right? Shinobi. Okay. Ugh, man, we only take we only do four. Our opponent has plenty of time at this rate. We'll get rid of all mysteries. Yeah, well, put a little uh, asterisk on play well there, Super Booper. <laughs> but thank you for that. I usually punt about one and a half times a, a stream, but it's to be expected when you've got all this technology around you and trying to entertain and burn cards and roll the commercials, blah, blah, blah. Just glad you're all joining me here. Pop again every Saturday, 9 a.m. PST, and please... Take just a moment. Write yourself a note. Go tell a friend. Go next time you're at the stores. Hey, you guys heard about this. Because that's that little grassroots is how we've gotten here. It's definitely not through the help of anybody as far as like from the mothership and whatnot, you know. Well, let's go. Now that our new local store is opening up, we've had quite a bit of fun. One guy remembered our show and might be watching today. So shout out to the comic bug of Manhattan Beach. That's where we like to play. Very cool group of dudes and women. I was uh, played a woman named Jasmine with very cool pink hair last night. We're playing Commander at the very end of the draft, and uh, this guy just went completely off, gained infinite life, and uh, that was that. <laughs> a mechanical sheep, <laughs> dry bummer. Man. We really want a Tooth of Chiscore to show up here so I can start improvising some good blocks. We can take out that wall of roots and then we can start threatening those overgrown battlements with no blocks because uh, it just keeps resetting itself. Vastly superior to Bone Splitter in a list like this. It just keeps becoming free. Yikes. Really want a Tooth or a uh, Thought Cast in a Tooth here? Come on. Yeah, all right. Uh, I attack with everything that matters. All right. Well, let's just go. I'll do a little bit of damage, I think. My maths is right. No, nope, it isn't. Boop. Man, this is so slow rolling. Ah, frustrating. So I'm not even going to cast mana for this. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to improvise it. Just out of spite. How do you like that? We'll do this up here naked. And we get another 3-3. Three, three. God, we need... Man, if we got thought cast in a tooth, we just start owning this. But really scared of that freed from the real. Right? Freed from the real. But we keep adding to the board. But the problem is they do too, and they're not losing like most decks do. This stage of the game, you can't run into a 4-4, four, four, but 0-5s are pretty good at doing it. <laughs> and our teeth are hiding. We could call this the mental metal dentist with the uh, tooth of Tiscora. Yikes! Three damage to any target. <laughs> Good news, we got welding jar. I don't know why. Uh, maybe they're playing both. Come on, deck. Let's get going here, man. Attack! What a Man, I want the tooth, because then that frogmite would kill the invoker. Uh, as it sits now, no. Okay, we'll lose that dude. Come on, teeth, show up. Three a turn is terrible. Five gets you three, three gets you four. And here we go for some more. Oh, they climbed to 13. This is not going well. Mono blue dental craft. <laughs> Dreamer Stango. Yeah. I even considered glasses of Urza. How you like that? Right when you think you've heard all the bad ideas, I come out with one more. Woo. Hmm. All right. <sighs> Thank you, mana gods. Check this out, suckers. What's up? 
boom, boom, more of the same. We've kind of programmed our opponent to thinking we have nothing. At least that uh, Malachite Invoker can block this time. Alrighty. I believe these guys are the ones we're really worried about. Let me drop the tooth. The tooth is loose. Whack! Chid3 in the house. Go check out his YouTube channel for sure, and please encourage him personally to make more videos. And he's been on a bit of a hiatus, at least last I checked. The creator of Blackburn in the house. Give him some love, everybody. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Unreal. A nephew texts me. I never hear from this kid. This is when he texts me. All right. Ah, uh, shoot. Well, at least we save our jar for something else. Da, 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 da. Ongoing joke. My phone only rings for scam calls and jobs that don't exist. And uh, and then on Saturdays when I'm streaming and I've told my family and friends, leave me alone in this little three-hour window. But that's when they always want to call. What you going to do? Boop -a -doop. I don't think we're winning this one. Start mowing us down. Now our protection's gone. Triple threat. Nope, nope. Get out of your phone. Now I'm on some chain text and everybody's chiming in, knowing that each one of the people in the four person chain in that knows. Do not bug me on Saturdays. Ah, I'm the grumpy Luddite from the South. <laughs> Far from it. I'm pretty techno savvy. That's how I can bring you this every Saturday. And if you're just joining us, make sure, stick around to the end of the show. We are burning, for all of the moronic value, a circle of protection red. Sent to us by none other than Nimchimski in the chat himself. All the way from the Netherlands. One of the farthest traveling cards. Maybe in history. I doubt it. With all the pro tours and stuff. People travel with cards all the time. Hey, we like to see preordain. Let's go find something good. Maybe another tooth. Maybe not that. Yuck. Bottom, bottom. Well, we did see a Pulse Marasa, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Bottom, bottom. Yep. We're going to get mowed down next turn. We'll at least see where we sit here. Attack. Boom, 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 boom. Just in case they don't want to block. Come on, sucker. What you got? All right, I've got defenders on board. We got this on board. Oh, I need to be doing that. I want to get rid of these dudes. Let's go. Seven, three. All right, we'll let them get this one. That's a tough thing to go up against. Uh, removal every turn. We'll put an L there. Maybe a uh, two hydro blasts, just so we at least can. Uh, have an answer for that. Our uh, crypt might be able to take care of it if uh, Marasa shows up. Echoing Truth would be interesting, wouldn't it? I think we're just going to bring in two Hydro Blasts. I'll lose a Sphere and an Assembler. And who knows? Maybe we'll lose our first game of the day. Oh, do, do. oh you got a little Sunstroke there, Shiraz, or Cloud Stroke from your area. Could it be? Gardening takes dedication. Yes. I agree, Nim Chimsky. Heading out. Best of luck. Deck looks sweet. All right, Joel Scott, thanks for joining us. And uh, we do not want to play first. I'm, I'm just happy that I haven't clicked. Yes, I want to play first. God, look at this flood. Disgusting. One, two, three. Uh, do we keep it? We got a useless sphere. Get out of here. One, two, we could slow roll it a bit. Because of that sphere, I don't really want to keep this. We really only have a uh, enforcer. I'm going to mulligan this. Too many lands. One, two, three. Now no lands. But I'm going to keep it. And we'll get rid of one, two, three. I guess we'll get rid of Hydro Blast. We don't want to see that for quite a while. It's going to be a bit. I think we might be losing our first game here, guys. But it's us losing, not really getting beaten right. That always feels a little bit better. 
about more one seat away from busting this wide open. We're one card away from turning this into a attacker straight out of the gates, but oh well. Okay. The frog might would be so nice there. Then we could power out a foundry assembler. Our tooth. We really want to see those teeth show up. Yuck. More ornithopters. And here we go. Okay. Uh, don't really know. I think it's better to just do this now. We'll fall in. Oh, come on, deck. All right. <laughs> oh, the odds of that are pretty, pretty low. I have so many zeros there. Letting our opponents squeak in here. As they start building up a huge advantage in mana. We have no threats on board. We're supposed to have like two four fours by now, but we did. Mulligan into the crap. Pop. Give me a seat, or not? Oh, man, madness. Just one away from just going crazy. I don't think we're facing our first loss today. You don't ever see walls anymore. That bodes well for the list. Maybe this is a tough matchup. I doubt it. Our, our deck's just fighting us, let's be clear. <laughs> We've got 15 damage on our hand. If anything shows up, 16 with the bone saw. Hmm. Apologies there, Nimchimsky. I will show you. Uh, we've got enough to hurt us. Ba -ba -ba -dum. Leaf collar drift. Forest roots. And the X bean. Boop. This is when we want our. Uh, I don't think we're winning this one, guys. Come this up. Uh, this happens. This happens. You play a deck this explosive. Maybe we should have kept that first hand. Maybe means yes. I'm always looking for that. Just come plop. Especially against a deck like this with so many defenders. We need our 4-4s four out in action. And I don't think we're going to get it here. But that's fine. Can't win them all. Actually, you can. And it's been happening quite a bit. But I don't think today's the day. All right. I'll just give it to the guys here. We lose our first one to walls. Let's just see what we were going to draw up next. And I told you guys I was going to show you that new uh, draw spell here. But puts us at three and one. That's cool. Let's see. Okay, that would have got out. Then we would have been able to cast this, which would have given us six. Still not enough there. And uh, that wouldn't have been either. Clunky hand there. All right. I want to show you guys something cool in the deck builder uh, arsenal. When you have a list, you go over to it. You right click on the name of it. And you go over to properties. A lot of you know this. A lot of you don't. Go to sample hand. So here you can just keep hitting draw another card or draw another hand. So, I mean, we've got, this is kind of a bad hand. Let's see what happens if we drew one more card. It would be an ornithopter. Kind of a bad habit to get into because you can get into some you know, scenarios where, but we look at like draw another hand, another bad hand, but here we've got, uh, that's another bad hand. Boy, this is not proving well, is it? See how many times you need zero artifacts here, but like boom, 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 boom. Go from there. All right, cool. Well, we've got one more to go here, guys, and I'm going to go get some more coffee and we'll be back for the last round and then we're going to uh, burn the circle of protection red. Don't go anywhere. Enjoy this cool commercial courtesy of Randy Tippett's on VO, Fire and Ice. If uh, your weekend's starting early, check out this alcohol. See you in a bit. Our ingredients have historic roots. Our water combines the spreading seas of Zandakar with the rushing rivers of Ixalan. Our grain is harvested from windswept heaths under Amonkhet's nourishing second sun. From the russet wolf potatoes to the straw golem berries, each piece of our mystical puzzle is then blessed by the order of the ebon hand, transmuting our prismatic ingredients into a magical elixir that is then held for five to fairy time twists. Then, our Balduvian brew mages carefully select only the finest examples, 
which are then exiled within our patented guild pack glass. Introducing Jaya's hot and spicy chili vodka and Jace's refreshing ice gin. Fire and ice. Experience your opposite. Available at all senior superstores. Justin. My old giraffe. Nothing. What you doing? Hey. Attention, Papa Gandanites. Show your love of all things Papa with our Ultra Deluxe Playmax. And true to our Papa roots, the glorious artwork is 100% free. The accoutrement that you will need. Accoutrement? What is that? Just send an email to papaganda at gmail.com with the subject one, two, or three, and we'll send you the playmat file for free. All you need to do is visit our friends at inkgaming.com. Order yours today. And we're back for the last round. Right on cue. Here we go. We do not want to play first. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is fine. We'll keep it. be nice to have a big fatty like we saw nothing but last game. But sometimes you're just not going to draw good. And that was definitely clear there. But the other three we sure did against, didn't we? Hey, look at this. We've got Ornithopters against the goods. Maybe we keep the tooth as... All right, we've got an ornithopter heavy draw against a flying deck, so that feels pretty cool. We'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. And hey, why not just do this? How do you like that? Splat! So we got five damage on board. Put a paradise in the house. Snuggle Fox, Shirazamon, little fight. So fairies show up. Oh, our ornithopter takes care of them, and the tooth after that. Hopefully, we just draw another tooth here. Welding jar, if they're on any sort of removal. Hopefully, make short work of them. Boop. Eh, well, might as well play this now. Getting out of fairy country. If a ninja comes up, we'll be able to take care of it as we attack here. Come on over for five. Pop. Thank you for that name, Chimsky. Really stuck on the 75. I don't think there's much wiggle room. I mean, if Storm gets banned, then yes, we're going to have a lot more room to play with. But Brainstorm showing up. Okay, it's a race, it looks like. We've got Welding Jar. Don't think I'm, my Ornithopters are going to be doing too much along the lines of blocking, but maybe against some Fey. We'll see. Blue Belcher. No, I will not belch into the mic for emphasis. Tempted. But no. Yeah. So yeah, we were drafting last night, and they've always had this nice, uh, I guess from like five years ago, uh, uh, Black Lotus, you know, banister or, or tapestry in there. And I was like, hey, how much for that? So I bought it, and uh, yeah, might be might re be replacing Elspeth quite a bit. It is kind of iconic. It's about as far as you can get from Popper, right? What are they going for now? I think mint, they're like 800, or I mean like 80 grand or something like that. Just nuts. we got double welding jars. We're just going to crash right into this. We don't care. Let's go. Cool. Uh, we'll just play this for free. We don't need this dude. We don't really need this or this or this or this. Our opponent's going like, what on earth is happening here? He has no mana, and he has six creatures and a whole lot of things to do. Yeehaw! Here we go. Holy cow. Uh, I don't know why my alarm's going off. I threw it away. Man, my phone is just... I threw it out so it wouldn't disturb me, and then some random alarm shows up. It's kind of worrying me. Why did I have my alarm set for it right now? Hmm. Curious. Oops, better... And it, and it happened right before I attacked. See how I was trying to screw me over? Ah! Those jerks. Let's go. You don't think I'll do it? Let's pull the trigger, baby. Woo! I got you covered. My jars come to the rescue. Take out your explosive turn. Got another one where that's at. 
How you doing? All right. There we go. We got a snuff out showing up. On the same one? Hmm. No. Oh, can't be regenerated. Never mind. Let's let's slow roll that. Well, we'll regenerate this one then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he's just going to take eight then. All right. Uh, I guess that's better than four. Wow. Trippy. Uh, I'm tempted. I think a uh, Gurmag's coming up here. So let's just do this now. Oh, no, I can't. I tapped it. Huh? <laughs> I might have wanted to attack with an Ornithopter there. All right, propaganda, extra lands instead of Lotus Petal. Nimchimsky, what don't you like about this? I don't think it needs any... I don't really want to land here. I want more stuff. Snuff Out shows up again. Wow! I'm really going to get all the way there with Snuff Out? I thought two welding jars would be enough. So we are on a pretty fast clock here. Well, I guess they don't have Angler with the uh, tap out of that showing up. What are you going to do with Sprig Leaf Drum at this stage of the game? It doesn't do anything. It, it eats a turn. You want more free stuff. There's more free stuff. How glad are we that that wasn't a drum, right? Uh, should we? You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite. We'll come on over with Ornithopter. I probably should have kept the Frogmite in hand. That's fine. We'll zap here, and we'll probably eat another snuff out. Okay. And because of that, I'm going to let this go. Get rid of the yard. I don't think we're winning this one, even though they've gone all in with the snuff outs. We've got only four artifacts now. Oh, I see Shiraz. Okay. I didn't know they were that much. Very essential, not even for the mana, just for that another zero. There's the uh, regenerated one that costs three, I even considered. Um, but you have to pay three, and it does the same thing Welding Jar does for free. So, boy, they have just gone all in. Kudos to our opponent. Uh, triple snuff out to get around our double Welding Jar early play there. This is maybe going to be close. Maybe not now. What a come from behind. That's cool. I'll say... Uh, da -da 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 -mir. Whole lot of snuff out going on. Damn. Not what we needed. And let's pay attention. We drew mana. It's not what we needed. So... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've got this for a reason. I think it might be wiser to... Yeah, at this stage, I think we just lost here. Do we just go for the... I'm just going to keep this dude back. I'll just attack. We'll just keep this a mystery. It's not doing us any good there. If we top deck into another tooth, we might be able to pull off a surprise victory. Doubt it, though. We're going to take a whole lot of damage here. Here it comes. They're probably by now sitting on some counter magic. I do believe I'm going to favor Gut Shot over Dispel when I bring in cards here. All right. Well, we have that, and that does absolutely nothing. Yeah. We could block one of the dudes... That wouldn't do anything but buy us a turn. We're just going to concede here. We're very well done by our opponent. That's virtual round of applause. That was a. I thought that was just over. And just went all in with the snuff out plan, and it was enough. Our next card would have been a walker, which is good against uh, ninjas and such. But okay, so we're going to want some damage against Delver. We're going to bring in our gut shots. I'm going to bring out our spheres. We're going to hope for the best. 
as we uh, go like this. Poop. Yeah, that's the one herbal herbal poultice. Uh, yeah. Even even better than that because you almost never get to three mana is the uh, Fountain of Youth. But I, I mean it's garbage. But as the sets keep coming, you're gonna see once in a while a zero thing come out, and there will be a time when you can play zero land affinity, and it's gonna be awesome. Just make sure you go second. I'm so this is a a winning endeavor already. Well, I've already show, showed off what the Dex Explosivity does, and we've got a little bad luck with walls. But I'm just happy that I haven't said go first, because it will happen to you, and it probably will happen, like, right out of the gates. Just keep your hands off the mice, and uh, <laughs> no. We have been flooded before, but we have learned our lesson. We'll keep this. We're not running up against, like, some sort of red mana math here. We will keep... You'll do this turn. And we get a little free play. That happens often because people see you win the dice roll and then they just assume. Oh, let's see. One, two, three. That'll be four. I do want that. do want that. I guess we could just go top, top. And we're one away from getting that dude out there, but all right. Going second, yes, indeed. That extra card's very important. Of course, Delver shows up. All right. I got a lot of big fatties coming out soon. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's frustrating. Let's do this first. Pick two for that. Cast this. This is one. It's kind of fun. So check this out. We play boop, and we get him out. He sneaks out under the uh, the realm of curiosity. I really wish we could power these guys out, but we can't. What am I complaining about? We've got eight damage on the board. Soon to be uh, fourteen. Yeah, the scale is pretty nice against other affinity lists just because of Galvanic Blast and blocking, but um, I've tried it ad nauseum. Never enjoy really seeing it. It is great for that curve, right? We'll go here. This is how this is supposed to play out. We get the jump on... Um, cl click slowly there. This to this. And we come over for eight. Maybe he's got sack swamp snuff out. It's going to take four anyway. Maybe they do it. Ah, maybe they don't have snuff out. Eight, ten. I got thirteen damage on the board. It's turn two, everybody. I had one of the top decks in popper. It felt like it that first game. That was very cool. It's like removal surfing, right? Yeah, that card's absolutely useless against us. I think they're expecting like kind of a brute squad build, and we're pretty out of range of a lot of. I mean, look at our board even against uh, fiery cannonade, right? All it's going to do is take out a frogmite. That's all. Really like to draw a uh, but that, that, that welding dart here. That's pretty cool. We'll take it. Uh, let's bring this dude out. We'll go like here. We'll tap the equipment. We'll tap this and this. And this, yeah, why not? Boop. For another one. And we'll just attack with everything. Bam. Yeah, when he found he didn't find it, he uh, cycled the suffocating fumes, which revealed, I should be playing a little bit more transparently here. Oh, they've revealed suffocating fumes, all right. So we take one Delver down. Your opponent takes 10. Even if Snuff Out shows up, splat. So even a cast down here and a Snuff Out there, well, can't really do Snuff Out. This is that mentality where you're just so on your heels that don't quite matter what happens, really. We can even power up Bone Saw and come on in with that walker for that little bit of damage. I think you're right there, Shiraz. All right, we're going to game three. Keep in mind, you know, a lot of people see this list, they think like, oh, it's just jank luck, and it's like, 
we beat Tron. We beat, well, we're pulling even with this. We've beaten everything else except walls, but our deck was fighting us on that. So gut shot would have been nice to show up. Maybe if we do this, it'll show up, right? Boop. Here we go. Last game of the day, guys. It's been fun. It's been fast. It's been Blue Belcher. Go tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your grandma. She's into that sort of thing. Forward thinking sort of ladies. Good times. Oh, and a week from today, Conor McGregor, I don't know. It's like legacy time, right? I don't know if he's going to... Maybe he's... You know, it's like that Rocky scenario. You've just been rich for too long. Boy, we've got way too many thought casts here. One, two, but I've got preordain. I'll keep this. Eep. I, man, if we see another like two preordain, I'm going to be pissed, but whatever. Here we go. Where are our gut shots hiding? Cool. We'll do this to this to this. Can almost do this to this. Let's go find some zeros. Hey, we kind of like that. We'll say no on this guy. I'm going to say no. Bottom. I know I want to see it, but not right now. Hey, we've got answers. And we've got Thoughtcast next turn. That took some discipline. I really want Gut Shot, but uh, not at the expense of tempo. It's got to have a hard counter for Thoughtcast, and even then we might be able to kind of pull. Man, I'm telling you, a little bit of um, Coke Zero, just a splash with, with a cold coffee is pretty damn good. I know I've said that in the past, and a lot of you are cringing around the globe. Apologies, but i got to call it like I taste it. Good times. Ever tried landing on bowling in the list? I have not. All right, let's go here. And I love that that's a sorcery too. It's just like good times. Uh, deck's just fighting us. Three, one away. And I have a really good turn next turn. Till then, or just attack for one. Very underwhelming. Like I said, you gotta you gotta pay your robot dues sometimes. You know, that build out turn. Every deck has a little bit of that. They can't all be the 4th of July. Now, you know, I was thinking, too, there's no mistake I'm playing it this week. Tomorrow's the 4th of July, which is all about fireworks, and this deck has fireworks. So if you look in the past of the five years we've been doing Bob again, a lot of times on our little USA Day, I play a uh, Jess guy list, right? Red, white, and blue. A little tongue-in-cheek there, but what's a streamer to do? Bob again, made possible by the people of Coke Zero. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, uh, kind of a constant on that, aren't I? All right. I've got a bunch of must counters here. Not many turns to do much of it with. We'll do this. Kind of praying for a... Uh, we've got free double robot if they want to uh, power this up. Going to let me draw two cards. If not, I'll do it again next turn. Okay, cool. Well, that's free and this is free. And we're going to attack. Boom, boom. I want to preserve my ornithopters, so if he wants to kill something, let's go. Now, even here, Gurmag, you know, Mer Enforcers just stare him down with the tooth behind him. So, feeling pretty good. You've got all the answers and snuff out counter spells at the right time. But it's hard when 11 damage is coming at you every turn. And you have to develop the board, but you want to kill stuff, but you want to counter things. If it's dental craft, need some sort of... Listerine sponsorship, I'd imagine. <laughs> I tell you, when I cut red wine out of my diet, my teeth benefited. That was the big thing. Cool. I'm just going to mow this dude down. I don't, I don't care. Let's roll. It's probably going to eat a snuff out, but whatever. Still do four. Hey, man, how much do we like that, right? We'll play a pedal. We'll play this. Uh, I'd like to keep a little mystery involved. Let's come over just in case for this. Yeah. This way I can use Tooth. I can just trade. You got Snuff out? That's cool. If not, I'll keep that back for the other one. And here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, and we've got Galvanic Blast, blast Breath Mints, but uh, not of any of the other ones. 
What's it going to reveal? Cast down, maybe? Snuff out. There's no surprise there. And we've done lotions. We've done soil. We've done car ads. We've... We've done hot sauce. Cast this up. See how we're flooded? We got something to do with our little bone saw here. Whoop. Good times. All right. Let's attack. What's he doing? Are you casting? Are you casting asparagus at my cooking? Bad curly joke. I'll do this. He's probably got a cast down for it, but again. We'll tap. We'll attack. See how the bolt, uh, the auger can't attack into this, even though they feel kind of ridiculous and not useful. Spell stutter sprite dies. Ornithopter. I'm just gonna try to mow stuff down here, guys. Boom. Gotta have a trick, right? Another cast down. But we've got the thopter right behind it. We just refresh it. I think at this stage I'll trip the crypt just in case he top decks it. I would really want him to have to tap out if he's got an angler plan here. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, he's doing it on that. Okay. Well, Bolas will die. We do no damage. And the board is clear, and we are out of here. Let's kill the yard. I've got a feeling they got angler in hand. We'll cast this, and I'll wait till next turn. I could, you know, I could pip, pop this, do this, but they got two lands. But it's probably anger, uh, <laughs> angler counter spell. <laughs> so she looks like a. Pretty good. Oh, well, maybe desperation. Who knows? Of course, it's going to have a whole lot of stuff going on here. Sorry, my wife's so loud in the background. All boys out of the yard, and more to come. Let's see. One of the toughest decks out there. It's got all the answers. Playing pretty even with it. It's anyone's game right about now. Okay, that feels pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. I guess we could just kill it. Might as well get the ornithopter online here, at least with the tooth, and then I'll sacrifice the frog mite. Just want to keep the board values down. Yuck. Last thing we wanted here. Best to keep that a mystery. We'll throw this on here. I'm just going to attack with everything. No, I'm not. We'll just do this. Go from here. It's got vapor snag. Who knows? You know, I guess there could be a possibility of uh, snuff out. Keep a minute, another go. Go round. I'll take this dude out. Just trying to clear the board here. Does he got snuff out? He does. Well, he keeps it going. It's at four. Well, our stuff dies. That kind of blows. Right now, he's just got he's got angler tude, so I'm just gonna play this and we'll equip and hope that's where the damage stops. But like I said, this is an exciting game. One angler away, and we might be in deep doo doo here ourselves. He's got one mana. I expect a cast down. I don't think our walker's living. Hopefully we draw something relevant. That's kind of relevant. We'll attack here. There's no reason to walk into a counter spell. Let's see if he wants to use good removal on a bad creature. Do we get it? Do we get it? Might as well hit it. Hard time snuff out. Let's see. Those two cards. Do we get it? Do we get it? Alrighty. Well, it doesn't kill it, but all right, he still keeps his uh, dude out. And uh, here we go. 
I'm going to walk probably right into my counter spell here. Boop. All right. I'll play a free spell. Hope. Oh, no sense in doing much of anything with uh, that much mana out. Our Tormod's Crypt is there just to provide a little bit of a boost. What's he going to show? Please no removal. This deck's just chock full of removal, though. There it is. As he does that, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. it's kind of a no-brainer here. We get rid of this dude. Of course, we have seen um, edicts. So there's that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it's best to just pitch this now. Well, let's see. We're gonna kill the uh, auger, so let's do. It. Let's wait for that. Dismiss this. Not making it easy. Keeping one card ahead of us the whole time. So this is when you do wish you had brutes. I mean, a uh, ginger brute, right? Eh, that's not helping. So we'll crash in with this. And then hopefully we'll live. Boy, we don't want to see that lotus petal. That sucks. We'll get this out of the way. Get rid of your yard. No Tanner's Edict for you. We'll keep this a mystery. And anybody's game. And two cards a turn. Tense, tense. You're right, Nimchemsky. But even if we lose here, this is, you know, the very, very top of the top uh, deck choices out there for, you know, the challenges and stuff. And look how we're doing. Got them on the heels in a game three that's close, and they're drawing two cards a turn. So really like to steal that. Come on, give me a creature. All right, cool. He's got a block here. I sense a counter spell at this stage. They have to block every time. Hardcore snuff out. All right. Bam. There it is. So we play our dude. Might as well equip him. Gosh. Seems like every time they're drawing that extra card, it's more removal. Good news. We haven't taken any damage yet. That's about to change. Oh, man. Watch him claw all the way back. That's what makes this deck so great. We can't we can't draw another uh, thought cast because we well we do have one left ten cards down because of all the shenanigans here okay down goes cast down Tormont's crypt doing some work in this matchup one has got quite the uphill battle and we don't have any haste which really blows but it's a nail biter we're we gonna go four one or three two oh, like that. Hmm. I don't want to play that because that might actually get out a sprite. Play this to this. And then we'll play all three improvise. I don't want to play this because of, uh, they might have sprite. Sprite makes right. Oh, man, why can't we draw any of our welding jars? We've got one. I'm surprised you kept in suffocating fumes. I guess it's a good combat trick when you're flooded, but... Very disciplined on holding back the uh, Evolving Wilds for the Brainstorm Synergy. Uh-oh. That's uh, boating badly now. Ponder's going to get a lot of value with that Evolving Wilds up. And let's not forget this. Hardcore snuff. <laughs> is that what I said? Oh, no! Is he going to pull away? As is the way of these lists, right? Unexpected fangs are most expected. Can we finally hit you? If you've finally not drawn the preponderance of removal, I've sent a hardcore snuff out again. Let's just cast this now. All right, we'll pay one. We'll put the bone saw on here. We'll attack. He's got removal. He'll use it on this as well. No secrets here. God, I wish I was a dispel right now. And hard snuff out. Pop. Okay. Man, oh man. One, two, three. How many of those are there? All snuff outs are gone. These are an even trade here, right? All right. I don't have much life left here. He's been the mon too long. 
yeah, <laughs> loosely translated, <laughs> the monarch too long. But we still got the burning car to look forward to. Hmm. All right, not boating well. We need a jump, <laughs> get some old school cars. The very first version of this, I had the uh, unblockable and uh, scry, what, what is that, aqueous form, I think it was, for scenarios just like this. We had our opponent at like two life. By walking right into a counterspell. They've just drawn too many cards for this not to be a counterspell. Oh, but it is. But it isn't. But whatever. We'll rock like here. We have to pay one? What kind of treachery is this? All right, now I'll do this. You got a sprite? I guess you don't. I'll throw this on um, here. Yeah, that thing's way too expensive. It costs one. <laughs> yeah, perfectly timed monarch, man. Just walking into so much goods. Finally going to let this through. Does he dare give me the monarch? Ah, what is this? Are we going to hit? Whoa, check it. Unbelievable. So we're going to take Norn. He's probably just got cast down for the other one. That's what we're looking at here. Yeah. Mm. Looking at an EOT, he wouldn't have done that without the uh, cast down in hand or something like it to get rid of the Marm Forcer because he's got lethal at nine. Unless we find some cool way to gain life. Oh, thanks a lot, Welding Jar. Nice of you to show up. Not that we really could do much with it here. Or he's going to just go find the removal. Mon Arg. <laughs> That's Nim Chimsky. Yep, there it is. Well, good for our opponent there. I stand by this list 100%. Um, I've faced this about four times, and this will make it even. But it's top deck out there, and we had him out down at two, and and we battled through a lot of Monarch there. So, hey, what you going to do, right? You made it work for it, at least, says Dreamer Stingo. Yeah. We still, if we are in a league, though, we're a little bit of a profit there. Not much of one, but booyah. Come on in. Let's see what our next draw was. Bloop. Yeah, pretty decent damage there. So that's the list. I'm sticking to it, and I'm going to probably play this in a league sometime in the next few days. I just love it. Um, every deck's going to have your clunky bad draws here and there. You just have to go second, and you've got to really count these zeros as fuel for the fire. Um, got to get out of that mindset of, I'm going to add more lands. If, if anything, I've considered cutting these and just freeing up two more spots, which I would not fill with with uh, more mana-induced things. I would probably, I don't know, when those zero artifact spells come out, I'll be playing them. Um, maybe something like the Herbal Pulse is, is, is necessary. But um, hey, guys, um, we still got the card to burn. So without further ado, I believe, yeah, we'll just go to that right now. And that way I don't have to uh, do much of anything here. I've never done this before. Well, we've burned a card before, but get ready, everybody. We're going to go to a different screen. And we've already been over this uh, steel fin whale. Everything blocks it. And uh, if you're going to go that route, use Sombra Hover Guard instead. Um, let me see here. I believe I've got this right. I do that to that to that. OK, here we are, everybody. Let's see if this works. I got to I got to check the feed here. Make sure we're all big and fat. Hey, there we are. OK, big and fat man. Is here as we queue up the card. I'm going to move the mic a bit. Sorry for any interference. I'm going to move the computer back a bit so I don't get ashes on the keyboard as we attempt to burn it. Never know if it will or not. Whoop, 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 whoop. Here we go. Let's get the nice angle here. Everybody seeing things good? As we've got the big screen, I'll show you the last victims. We've got a. Uh, ah, Counter spell. My autofocus is stuck on me. 
and why it won't. Uh, I guess I'm back here. Oh. We have the very first one in nausea. That's what's left of it. The white bordered nastiness. Pestilence. Eight of flame. And now, it's not one of the options, but we will be burning this thanks to Ninchimsky. COP red against all other things. Hey, somebody grab a clip. I'll wait about two seconds. All right. As we burn COP red in all of its oxymoron goodness and against all odds, here we go. For Nimchimsky from the Netherlands, thank you so much. Down it goes against everything that is holy. Whoa! Yowza! As I almost cause a fire hazard here. <laughs> that almost got on me. <laughs> this is the biggest mess yet. Yeah, they pick it up backwards. Okay, one more go of it because it came from such a distance. And I don't... Ah, jeez, I got to get better clippers here. Let me hold this... A lot better. All right, we're still going. We're still going. Here it is, baby. Ooh. All right, everybody. Stop. There's what's left of CLP. Smoking goodness. Let me get it in the. Uh, there we go. All right. <laughs> it's such a mess in here, guys. I'm going to roll out. We're going to go check out what's all counter happy. Thanks for joining me. Please spread the word propaganda and all that goodies. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Propaganda. Yowza. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Mm -hmm.